Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Akmal Hazik bin Sulaiman, and in this video, I'm going to explaining two things, which is uh, the types of riba and the types of gharar. So, the type of riba that is two types of riba, which is riba al buyu and riba ad din. Which is riba al buyu is trade transaction and riba ad din is loan transaction. So riba al buyu and riba ad din has been categorized into uh, a, a, a smaller uh, category, which is uh, riba al buyu has al fal and al nasiyah, uh, which uh, riba al buyu has riba al card and riba al jahiliyah. So I will be explaining about riba al buyu first, uh, that is have uh, al fal and al nasiyah. So riba al fal is also known as riba al buyu that is riba by excess. So it applies to six item, which is gold, silver, dates, resin, wheat, and also barley and the like of them. So riba al nasiyah it, it occur whenever the creditor advance loan on some monthly interest in addition to the principal sums. It's uh, increased due time, meaning that. Uh, if you amounting a thousand dollar, it will be increasing hundred, 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 hundred. That is for the example, and and on other words, this uh, stipulate uh, interest which the lender takes from the borrower to pay back the capital. So moving on to the riba ad din, which has two category two, that is al court and al jahiliyah. So what is al court? It is a uh, it is riba in debt or out of lending and borrowing. So it was originated from the transaction of a loan and it is interest or payment charge due to the loan given. So in another word, it is the extra amount over the above principle of the loan. So riba al jahiliyah it is a riba in loan. So it is when a loan contract is made or at rescheduling a previous debt. So it is it is take place only in debts created via lending or extended to a new maturity via rescheduling. So moving on to the two types of garar, which is garar yasir and garar fahish. So garar fa uh, yasir is the light one and garar fahish is the excess. So I will be going to explain the garar yasir first, which is uh, the Gara Yasir is tolerate and will not invalidate a contract. So Gara Yasir may include the following cases like uncertainty is slight or trivial, a contract is unilateral or char charitable such as a gift or bouquet. And the third one is there is a public needed for transaction or contract. So the example for garar yasir is like purchase of fruit without peeling or cutting off the skin uh, in to to see the inside. So the next one is a garar fahish. Garar fahish is the, uh, a type of it is not tolerated and may result in contract voidability. For example, a set, a set of merchandise does not exist. Uh, we do not. We do not know what is the exact. Uh, the asset is. We don't know what we are buying to them, so it is called uh, uncertainty. So that is it for my explanation on uh, the two types of uh, riba and the two types of gara. So thank you.